Hi guys! Hello everybody! Welcome to Original Games UK. We have been we, yet again yes. to second year in a row. Well, for me, second year in a row. Uh, unfortunately, someone can go last year to the yep. biggest video game market, retro video game market in the UK, in Doncaster. And I mean, I'd like to say it got better. It was it was brilliant last year, but there was so many people it there. Was, yeah. Something else, some ridiculously what, rare games. Most games you could think of. They were there. Yeah. I mean, I even saw like a game that I was actually hoping to get, and I had to leave it. Yeah, <laughs> I had to leave it because we mixed up. We were like, "Oh no, we'll go back there later. We'll see if you know yeah. get it for a better price." Lost Kingdoms too. Went back round. We we're like, "No, oh, it's not there." And then once I spent all my money, I was like, "It's the wrong <laughs> store. We went back to the wrong store." Well, there with what fifty stalls? No, more than fifty. It was, loads. It was. Yeah. I mean, we're going to try and but put some... Each, yeah, like, some kind of interlink in. some footage. Yeah. But, I mean, I say, I say 50 stalls, but that doesn't really give it justice, because each stall probably has, like, a 500 games. Yeah. So that's yeah. a lot of games. And the so. random merchandise, collect editions, books, yeah. you name it. Um, so we're going to start off with the, the really retro stuff being, like, the Master System and yeah. Mega Drive. I'm actually going to go through the Master System first. Cool. Um, I've said this before. I want to get back all the games I've ever had. Yeah. And had that when I was younger. And I think now we are literally like one game away. What is it? Pac Mania. Pac Mania. Pac Mania. Yes. So, so we have Miss Pac Man. Ms. Pac Man. Ms. Pac -Man. You, ain't, you ain't holding her down. Um, so, yeah. just a classic game. You all know what Pac Man's like. This time you're playing as a woman. Exactly. Sorted. G Lock. I can't ever remember playing it, but I know we had it. So yeah, it's more yeah. It's, it's more for the nostalgia. The, the nostalgia. Definitely out of the Master System games that we saw, this was one of the most widely available. Yeah, I, I would say so. But all the Master System games, I think we hope we got some like clips showing you now. We got them all from one Stole, one guy, and he was yeah, my, very reasonable prices and lots of choice. We can see how these manuals included. All the games I'm showing you now for Master System were either four or five pounds, which like, was ridiculous. Yeah, really, really yeah. Ridiculous. Tasmania, Tasmania. <laughs> yeah. All these, uh, I say, complete boxed. This is the only one that we got from a different store. Yes. The only one because the guy did have it at the store. But no manual. That. No manual. We, yeah. we need that manual. Yeah. So, Tasmania. Jungle Book. Yes. Again, just another classic. <laughs> yeah. We've got Jungle Book, Lion King on Mega Drive, Pokemon yeah. Hunters, you know, Disney back in the day. <laughs> Disney back in the day. Oh my god, Disney back in the day. So, yeah, yeah. so as you point out so far, we spent quite a long time at the Master System kind of store. Because we've still got two more. Yes. Oh, yeah, two more. Yeah. Um, Tom and Jerry actually went in the first for six pounds, but as I say, I'm going for the complete section of games that we had. Yeah. One more left to go. I think I that... think I think we only saw that maybe two or three times. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think maybe only one of the one that was had a manual thing that was like eight quid, so this yeah. was uh, six. Yes, I think I'm maybe about 20 20 ish Master System games in total now. I imagine you could be fairly close to what I thought you had, I'm guessing now. Oh, you, think, you said you only one away? Yeah. So, I know this is in poor condition. <laughs> well, I, what, I had three. Yeah, what happened is we, by the end of the day, we Aiden had a certain amount of money left, which was three pounds. And we yeah. challenged ourselves to try and get a Mega Drive game, or a Master System game for three pounds. And, and, we it, went, and, it, and it couldn't be a sports game. Yeah. It couldn't be a sports game. It's something that we might actually play. But the reason I only had um, three pounds left is because I said I wanted to find this Coombs 2. Yeah. We couldn't find that. Then there was a game that we saw. We'd go on to this. This is the, like, the, the last one. Yeah. And the game we saw, and I need to borrow money from Simon. So we had <laughs> yeah. no money left on yeah. these three pounds. Yeah. Um, and that is Trouble Pursuit. It'll be fun. I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if that, they spoke genius wrong. That would be kind of ironic. <laughs> <laughs> genius edition spelled wrong. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, it must be. Doma I've, <laughs> never, I've never heard of Domark either. That would be the biggest troll ever. That they purposefully spot someone on the front wrong. Just to sit. Yeah. Can you imagine, can you imagine if it wasn't uh, in there? It actually has the, the uh, manual. Yeah. Yeah. And the, look, white cartridge. That's oh, red. 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 One, right? yeah. yeah. So, let us know if you think that's a good pickup for, for that's three yeah, pounds yeah, a day. Yeah, three or three pounds. Can't go wrong. So, three, come on. Three pounds. A mass system. Is that seven? Six? Six. 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 Nice. And, and as I say, honestly, the prices were extremely reasonable. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking they're like all less than like, 30 quid. Now, obviously, you could go and get like, um, what do we see? That uh, we saw something crazy. It was Fantasy Star Four. Fantasy Star Four for Mega Drive was 120, but yeah. the one I saw was the most expensive was 
um, Castlevania Symphony of the yeah. Night. We're going to talk for both 170 and 220. Yeah. I actually, I, I, we'll try and put the thing in now so maybe yeah. you're seeing how when I saw it, I mean, because that was, was like, 220. Whoa. 220. 220. Right, so the only Mega Drive game I got. Yeah, now we obviously looked at quite a few. Yes. Um, but they were either very expensive or they just didn't have the one that we were really yeah, looking for. Yeah, and like the ones that I don't. Like I wanted to jump in Earl last year, so obviously I got that last year, so I've already got that. Um, Street Fighter games got that last year. Yeah. So I got Sonic 3D. And the Kids Absolutely Island. shit game, but it's important to finish the collection. Exactly. So, yeah. weird enough now, I mean, I know it's like these are really common as much games, the fact that I don't have Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah. But I literally have all the other Sonic games across my system and Mega Drive now. Yeah. So. Now, this game. I used to rent locally every single week for one pound from my local video store. Nice. So I have played the first level of this game <laughs> more times than I care to imagine. I've played it quite a lot on the um, Sega Mega Drive collection. Oh, yeah. Thing. Okay. Yeah. Now, the next one, we have a story. Um, yes. A, a ridiculous story. Yeah. Like, like, um, so, Lost Odyssey. You're yeah, no yeah, let's, 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 let's start with the game first. Actually, yeah, yeah, so Lost Odyssey, um, definitely a hidden RPG gem on the 360. Sam's already got it. Yeah. Um, I know how to get it. From it's a four-disc beast of a game. Yeah. It's it's kind of um, high quality. It's made by uh, the same guy who did Final Fantasy VII. All the discs. Um, I, I, music, I another one music's there, incredible. But... Gameplay's really good to say. It is genuinely a hidden gem, and I would advise anybody who likes uh, J uh, JRPGs yeah. to... To go and get it's it. It's all all complete box. Because it is very, very good. But anyway, so as we're going, you know, we're just checking it's got all the discs in and stuff. Because Sam says, you know, make sure it's got all the discs. Yeah. And anyway, I go to the guy, I was like, oh yeah, can I have this piece? And he was just, oh, just have it. And we were like, what? What, really? Say and he what? was like, yeah, I, I, I watch your channel. <laughs> we and we like, were like, <laughs> because because we make the joke a lot that nobody watches <laughs> our stuff. It's, we, we make it for us, really. <laughs> yeah, it's something um, that we would like to, we, yeah. we put stuff that we would watch ourselves. Um, and the fact that someone's actually the fact that we yeah, don't we appreciate it, how so. small our channel is. Oh god, like, it's, it's like, tiny, so so yeah. tiny. Um, but it really just was. I say, if you're watching this video, yes, um, if you are, it was an incredibly nice gesture. Yeah, I would have loved to, uh, you know, find out more. About, but yeah. I was, I, we were both kind of just a bit gobsmacked and very, yeah. very. I was very humbled by the moment. Oh um, yeah. So uh, absolutely. Um, thank you very much. What a great game um, to give us. And I say, it's more just the fact that. Even just you said like you've watched our content. Yeah, it does. Um, it, does it does. It does actually mean something. Please leave a comment down below, and I'd love to um, comment you back and just yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, though. Right, the first buy of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. It and, was. It, and and this, it, and this it was, guy. It was a cheeky price. It was a cheeky price because I think he got the wrong price in it. Yeah. So Viva Pinata on 360, a game by Rare. If you haven't yes. played this game. And you think it's, it's actually decent. Yeah, yeah. You, you think this is just just for kids. This is so addictive. Yeah. And also, it was one that Aiden got because he'd had it and yeah. then lost it. Lost it. I don't know where it, it went. went it, got, it went somewhere. I've got my opinion on Trouble in Paradise. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it was a pound. Which is ridiculous. So I was right? like, I'm, I'm like, pound? Yeah. <laughs> you might know the dish, wasn't it? Fully, <laughs> we haven't checked yet. <laughs> <laughs> fully boxed with manual. And anyway, yeah. when I went to buy it, the dude was like, oh, um, yeah, where, which box did you have? And I was like, oh, this one. He was like... Okay. okay. And he was, he was, he was, you could tell, I think it was meant to say £11. Really? I think so. Done him. Yeah. Well, Got him. I, we only saw one of the thing of that. I think so. Weirdly enough, actually, yeah. To yeah, say that so. it was, it is quite... Yeah. Another now, one. Yeah. yeah. Another now, 16. this is actually one, actually, on, on the way down to the event, Aiden and I were saying, oh, we should get this and this and this. And yeah. So we were listing through it all. And then this game come up and we're like, that is a great shout to I get this game. Because it's yes. something that we've always kind of talked about, but we've just never actually got. So Persona 4 Arena, yeah. one we both, Persona 4 Golden and the PS Vita, one of the best I played RPGs. Persona 3, which is ridiculous. We're both waiting on Bait of Breath for Persona 5. And obviously we like our fighting games. We like yeah. the kind of anime style graphics. What's not to like? A yeah. fiver even comes with the... Um, the, uh, the CD which, and, the, and the music is good in Persona yeah in Persona as well so, so the CD fully boxed manual I was surprised at how cheap it was yeah I mean I mean, I know it's not the Arena Ultimax like the like it's not like Super Street Fighter 4 we've got Street Fighter 4 yeah but the game's still the same it's just, exactly which is like we're just missing I think like one or two characters yeah which I say for, for a fiver so good so how, so, how, so good. how are we doing so far for games guys I think we're doing pretty I think pretty like, spot on a nice and also a, a nice mix and this will enough I'd never even heard this game before, and then I saw about six copies there today. Yes, actually, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I also saw loads of people picking it up. Everyone was actually really interested in it, kind of wherever it was. So it's Sonic Mega Collection, and you've got to think, so it's got Sonic, 
Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D, Sonic Spinball, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, I think. Yeah, which uh, is a puzzle game, isn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah. Mean Bean, yeah. So, all of that for £8. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we know it's not... You, obviously, you're not getting the, the nostalgia of the actual cartridges. We get if that. you're just looking to play the actual yeah. games... because for me, the Mega Drive Master System ones, because they're older, they're more fragile. Yeah. Keep them away, keep them collectible. Yeah. And you actually play this one. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, that was like that was like a definite buy. £8 for, for seven Sonic games is absolutely insane. Come on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even if you go on... Um, PSN or Xbox Gold, or Xbox Marketplace, you know, the store and stuff. I think each one's like four or five quid. Yeah. I mean, we saw we saw Sonic Three and Sonic and Knuckles several times, and the average yeah. price was twenty to twenty five pounds. Yeah, the each. lowest it was like fifteen, but that was like no manual and in poor condition. So yeah. you know, um, but I find that really weird that they obviously are not rare games, but they maintain the value. I look for them every year for yeah. the right price, and um, it's the they way. are just like steady. They're steady yeah. as a rock. An absolute classic. I actually think this is the no, it is the power version. Just the thing that's different. Yeah. Um, Super Monkey Ball. Again, there's another one Aiden and I were talking about on the way down. Yeah. Who can who can go wrong? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have it already, but I mean, I've, I think I'm willing enough to complete this game twice. Even though I don't have it, I borrowed yeah. it for like long periods. I think it's just one of those games that if you're gonna have a GameCube collection, you need it. You have to have it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute classic game, and my GameCube collection, I think, is one of the collections that I've got the most games for now. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah. And then one, I know this is actually meant to be a really, really good game. I love the the movies, and it's on GameCube. Rocky. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I think I played for PS2. I don't know. I don't know what it's on. Okay, or I could have. I know. I, I know. I've played it. I yeah. Could have on GameCube. Yeah. I know. I know. I've definitely played this, and it was, and it was a lot of fun. Only two blocks of memory. <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So much. You. I'm really it ain't no FIFA World Cup 2002. No. But yeah. So. So far, we've got what? We had six. Very seven, consoles. Eight, nine, four ten. consoles. Thirteen games. Yeah. We've got fifteen games. We got two. We got two more to go. Now the next one. Minus a ridiculously f nice guy giving us a game for free, which, by the way, again, is just truly insane. Yes. Um, this game, I think, of the ones that Aiden paid for, this, I think, might be the, uh, like the yeah. best deal. Yeah. I, I think, apart from Viva Pinata, but we can't class that because yeah. technically that wasn't vended at that price, Yeah. was Jet Force Gemini for the Nintendo 64. One of my favourite games of all time. On the 64, all the rare games on Pinata. The actual company, rare. Yeah, yeah. When you think of like Perfect Dark, uh, Golden Eye, the Banjos, yeah. You know, got uh, Conquest Bad Fur Day. So, absolutely classic games. Ukulele is coming out this year, and I have the game. I feel like I do have the box for it, but it's so shit and worn. Yeah. So to have a mint copy, that I'm just gonna yeah. keep. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell it's probably the lights reflecting off the plastic, but that box is is, mint. is legit mint. Yeah. Um. Did we say how much it was? No. So it's uh, fifteen pounds. Which I say. Now, obviously, the virtual cartridge itself may not be worth that anywhere near as much, but it's just that box is absolutely insane. I, I have known the cartridge go for about that weird. Well, there you go. So, absolutely. And insane. then, and now we get on to the big boy. Wow, I don't think yeah. anyone out there is going to guess this game because no. I think the guy who saw it to us said he'd only ever seen one more in his lifetime. Yes, in his lifetime, and he's and he travelled to America, to Japan, and to Japan. He told us he even as he saw it to us. Um, you know, this game wasn't cheap, but it was it, for what it was. There was a really good price. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he, he he was just like he took a picture of it. And he, he was upset. he was he was, he was very obviously he wanted to sell it because he wants to make money. Yeah. But he was very unwilling to actually sell. And it. you'll obviously see from the from the video that we'll be shooting, you'll just see how after I bought it, there's just like one gap. gap. <laughs> yeah. And that is a Game Boy Color game. It's American only Game Boy Color game. Yes. As far as I know. Yeah. And the prequel to this. Dragon Mori Monsters is my favourite game on the Game Boy Color. And probably like second or third or fourth like favourite game of all time. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely brilliant game. Yeah. And then we spot this and it's Dragon Mori Monsters 2 Tara's Adventure. So yeah. In I mean, mint a mint copy yeah. of the game complete. That that you'll never see again. After all this, because we've, we've not even gone into it. After all this, it'll be an empty box. <laughs> oh god, he's done this. Absolutely <laughs> goodness. Can you imagine that? Um, but yeah. So, yeah. You know you know what, guys? I might actually open this up right now. <laughs> okay, so we've got it out of the um, plastic. Out of the plastic. Out, out of the sheath. I'm guessing... I've actually just... We, sorry, we've just actually quickly seen that there's a different version. So I imagine there like is, red and blue. Yeah. Um, so the one is Kobe's Journey. It actually says um, you can trade somewhere on there. Yeah, kind of monsters in between the two. Yeah, yes. a very Pokemon style. Honestly, it's like literally mint, like as mint as you can get a Game Boy Color. 
uh, box. It's as minutes that. That's that's a good open there. <sighs> the game's <thing. laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that. Okay. And there we go. Look at that. There we go. So that's got to definitely be one of the rarest games that was there today. Yeah. For a, for a affordable price. Yeah. Definitely for an affordable price. Yeah. Let's just have a look what else we have in here. Surely a manual. We would have a, so. a manual. There is. And then I'm and then I'm done. That's all. We've got everything. Oh, yeah. It's just so perfect. It's just literally <laughs> <the> mint. <laughs> Collect the whole family. <laughs> yeah. It's even telling you to uh, go and get the other copy. Yeah, just to hold that, and then I'll just um, just so I can open up a few pages of the manual. There you go. <laughs> so we can kind of see coloured manuals as well. Wow. Yeah, I mean this is this is yeah, just insane. Absolutely mint condition um definitely feel very lucky to have it as i say the guy who sold it to us was even like i can't believe i mean it. i can't believe it's going i mean i'm guessing he'd be disgusted the fact <laughs> that it's even open he'd be like what you bought this do that i actually gonna plan it i'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna plan it. Well, i'm mean, playing it to you i yeah. bought it to plan it well the thing is it's not as if this is sealed it's, no. like, it's not like it's, it's a sealed what i'll probably do is i'll probably take the cartridge out put that obviously in my game event or my game of color yeah and then put the uh it was why i'm not closing that because you yes. can see ruin the lid so guys so guys Wow, um, we'll probably end now with a bit more footage, I guess, of the uh, yeah of the event. Uh, amazing event, loved it. Yeah. Um, what did you buy, by the way? Uh, you, know, you see all this <laughs> stuff that I'm buying. I just the people want to know. I only just I only bought lots of shiny Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Gotta catch them truly, all. Truly, well. truly living the nostalgia. We've got yeah. Mass System. We've got Mega Drive. And yeah, as got... I thought, there was never really showing you guys the cards. Because, yeah, no, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're not that bit sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you very much for watching guys I yes. say thank you again to the guy who gave us Lost Odyssey very much yeah. please comment below really is, yeah. and um, yeah uh, guys let me know what your favourite pickup was out of everything that yes, we've guys. got